pretty easier for our um, audience. Um, what kind of country does Italy want to be within the European Union? Uh, taking the collision course it has taken when it comes to the, the budget, uh, and also to follow up on the migrant issue, have there been any, from the Italian side, in partnership possibly with EU progress in establishing reception centers in Northern Africa for uh, migrants? Thank you. Well, on the migrant issues, our position is uh, the following one. We do think uh, that uh, migration flow can only be governed, I'm using uh, as much as possible that word, it's not a question of managing, it's not a question of handling, it's not a question of facing, it's really a question of governing. And we need to govern the migration flow in uh, uh, a, a complex way which includes all the different segments uh, of uh, uh, the life of migrants, country of origin, country of transit, uh, country from where they make their last uh, mile to, to enter Europe, either by land or frequently in dramatic circumstances by sea. So we need to govern each one of these segments. It means that we need to invest much more in the country of origin to uh, improve the economic and social situation there, to reduce sort of uh, oblige uh, uh, economic emigration. We need to bring peace if there is war. We need to peace democracy if there are dictatorships. These needs a much more fully fledged and much more effective European-wide action. We need to fight against smugglers and uh, human being traffickers. We need to have centers all over uh, these uh, different segments in the country of origin to allow, for example, asylum seekers to ask for asylum already there and not to go into the hands of human being traffickers, but maybe to take just the plane if they have asylum right and to come uh, in Europe as refugees. We need to have centers uh, in country of transit because many of these people, after some months of these dramatic trips, if uh, rescued, they change their mind and they are ready to, to come back, maybe with some money, but they are ready to do it. And we need to have uh, maybe welcoming centers, guaranteed, of course, uh, uh, from the point of view of our standards of uh, human rights and fundamental rights, also in other country on, on the coast or at the border of, of Europe. And finally, we need uh, centers in, uh, as it was clearly said in the European Council conclusion of last June, in all European member states, not only in those of uh, first disembarkment of arrival, in all European member states, because it, uh, if not, we go back to what I was saying before, all the burden are on the state of first arrival, but if uh, people migrate, migrating can be shared before, then the controls can be made in a better situation, in a quicker way, if these people are shared among the member states. Then those who have right for asylum will stay, and they, and they might be reallocated in, in a rational way. If they have not right of asylum, if they don't, don't get any offer for a job, they might be repatriated, but again, at charge of uh, European finance and not uh, of the member country of first arrival. So in, in a nutshell, our idea is that governing migration is a complex business, is a complex activity, has a lot to do with humanitarian intervention, but also with the good organization all over the line. And this has to be decided and carried on at European level, not at national level. These people are looking for Europe. They are not looking for a Greek island, an Italian island, a given coast in Spain or in Italy. They are looking for Europe, and that the, the answer should be European. But are you 